Welcome to our C++ Deep Dive. Today, we're tackling a puzzling question that many programmers encounter. Our viewer asks, why does this static C++ cast work? Let's set the stage with some code. We have a base class and a derived class, but things get interesting when we use a static cast on a base class pointer. Why does it seem to work when we access derived class members? In our example, we create a base class pointer and then use static cast to treat it as a pointer to the derived class. But here's the catch. The base pointer actually points to a base object. So why can we access derived members? And when we declare a virtual method in the base class, why does it get called instead? Let's unravel these mysteries together and understand the nuances of C++ casting and inheritance. Welcome back to another tech video. Today I'm going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully you find the solution. Now, don't forget to stay just a little bit crazy like me and you'll hopefully get to the resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's analyze the code provided. We have a base class called base and a derived class called derived. The derived class inherits from the base class. In the main function, we create a pointer of type base, pointing to a base object. Then we use static cast to cast this pointer to a pointer of type derived. Now, why does this work? The static cast does not create a new derived object. Instead, it treats the base pointer as if it were pointing to a derived object, which can lead to undefined behavior. When we access the member variable i, or call the overridden method foo, we are accessing memory that does not belong to a derived object, which is why we see the result 10 on the console. If we declare a virtual method do derived in the base class, the derived version will be called when invoked on a derived object. This is due to polymorphism in C++. Let's now look at a user suggested answer. In C++, when you allocate memory for a base class, it might allocate more than just the size of that class. For example, if the base class is four bytes, the allocation could be 16 bytes. This extra memory can make certain operations valid, like assigning a value to a member variable. When you call a method on a derived class pointer, like foo, it works fine because the method doesn't access any member variables. However, if you call a method that accesses a derived class member, it can still be valid due to the extra allocated memory. An example shows that calling a method on a null pointer can be safe if the method doesn't read from the pointer. This demonstrates how memory access rules can lead to unexpected but valid behavior. Let's now look at another user suggested answer. Static cast works because it checks relationships at compile time. 
If there's a relationship between base and derived classes, the static cast trusts that relationship. However, as a programmer, you must ensure that a base object is not incorrectly cast to a derived class. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.